All right, let's get into a topic that every guy needs to know. How to tell if a woman isn't interested in you. Look, we all want to avoid wasting our time, right? But sometimes, figuring out where you stand can feel like solving a Rubik's Cube in the dark. Don't worry though. Today, I've got your back and I'm keeping it simple. Sure, sometimes it's easy to misread the signs. Maybe she's shy or waiting for you to make the first move. It happens. And hey, not everyone's a pro at picking up on signals or body language, and that's okay. But what I'm about to share with you today, it's crystal clear. If she's doing these things on the regular, it's a pretty solid sign she's just not into you. And trust me, trying to build something with someone who's giving off these vibes, it's like trying to build a sandcastle during high tide. So let's get right into the telltale signs that she's just not feeling it. Number one, the I'm busy excuse. Now don't get me wrong, everyone has things going on in their lives. It's totally normal to have commitments and responsibilities. But here's the thing, if she keeps hitting you with the I'm busy line every time you try to hang out, that's a red flag. We're talking about repeated excuses here, like you've asked her out three times and she's always too busy, or she takes forever to reply to your messages because she's been busy all week. If this keeps happening, it's a clear signal she's not into you. Sure, there might be the occasional genuine reason for being busy, and that's understandable. But if it's a recurring pattern, it's time to take notice. I mean, even the busiest people find time for the things that matter to them, right? If she's not making an effort to spend time with you or keep the conversation going, it's a sign she's not that interested. And hey, if she's not ready for a relationship, that's okay too. But you don't wanna be stuck in a situation where you're always left waiting for her to have time for you. If a girl genuinely likes you, she'll wanna hang out with you. She won't keep making excuses. So if you find yourself in a situation where she's always too busy to see you, it's probably best to move on. Don't hold on to that glimmer of hope that maybe one day she'll be available. Trust me, it's better to find someone who's excited to spend time with you and makes you a priority. Now, let's talk about some of the different excuses women might use to brush you off. There's the classic, I'm busy, of course. But there's also, I'm not feeling well. I have to work late or something came up. And while these excuses might sound legitimate, if they're happening all the time, it's time to question if she's really interested. Remember, relationships are built on time spent together and communication. If she's not making time for you, she's sending a pretty clear message. And you deserve someone who's enthusiastic about getting to know you and spending time with you. So if you find yourself in a situation where she's always too busy for you, don't hesitate to move on and find someone who values your time and effort. Number two, the ghost mode. Now, this one's pretty straightforward, but it's worth emphasizing. If she's leaving you on read or straight up ghosting you, it's a clear sign she's not feeling it. I get it though. Some guys might see this as a challenge, like they need to step up their game and chase her even harder. But trust me, that's not the move here. When someone's not responding or giving you the cold shoulder, it's not a green light to amp up your efforts. Slow or confusing responses are not the foundation for a healthy relationship. Here's the truth. No response is a response in itself. Let that sink in for a moment. It means she's not interested, plain and simple. So there's no need to keep pushing, bombarding her with messages, or trying to win her over with gifts. Take it as a sign to redirect your energy elsewhere, to someone who's actually interested in getting to know you. Remember, communication is key in any relationship. If she's not communicating with you or making an effort to engage, it's time to accept the reality and move on. Don't waste your time and emotions on someone who's not reciprocating your interest. So the bottom line is, when she goes into ghost mode, take the hint and focus your attention on someone who values your time and effort. Trust me, you'll thank yourself later for not chasing after someone who's not worth your energy. Number three, short dates. Now dates can be unpredictable and there's a lot of factors at play. But one thing that usually signals disinterest is when she suddenly ends the date or comes up with an excuse to bail early. Sure, there might be genuine reasons like feeling unwell or having an emergency, but here's the truth. If she's really interested, she'll make an effort to reschedule or follow up afterwards. That's a clear indicator it was a legit reason and not just an excuse to get out of there. But if she pulls the disappearing act and goes ghost mode after cutting the date short, well, it's safe to say she's not feeling it. From what I've seen, when a woman abruptly ends a date, it's usually because she's not into the person she's with. There could be various reasons behind it. Maybe she's not vibing with the conversation, feeling uncomfortable, or simply not connecting with you. 
And while it might seem a bit rude, it's unfortunately a reality of dating. Now, I'm all for honesty and open communication. It'd be ideal if people could just say they're not interested instead of making up excuses. But hey, that's not always how it goes down. Some people opt for the easy way out, making up flimsy excuses to avoid confrontation. And yeah, it can feel pretty disappointing, but at the end of the day, it's better to move on and focus your energy elsewhere. So if she cuts the date short and goes radio silent, take the hint and save yourself the trouble. It's a sign she's not invested and you deserve someone who's genuinely interested in getting to know you. Number four, no second date. All right, let's talk about another clear sign. When she turns down a second date, it's pretty straightforward, but if you ask her out again and she responds with any of these, then it's safe to say she's probably not interested. No, I don't think so. You're great, but I'll let you know. Or, let me think about it. Well, unless she says that last one in a playful way, then it could be a different story. But for most cases, if she's not feeling it, you'll be able to tell. Now, I get it. Reading tone and body language can be tricky, especially over text. Sometimes it's hard to tell if someone's being sarcastic or serious, but in most cases, you'll get the vibe. And what happens after she declines the second date can be a big giveaway too. If she goes silent, it's a pretty clear sign she's not interested. Now, I've seen some cringe-worthy responses when guys get turned down. Trust me, you don't wanna be that guy. Just accept it gracefully. Remember, not everyone's gonna be into you, and that's totally okay. Instead of trying to change their mind or getting salty, just move on with dignity. So, to wrap it up, if she's into you, she'll say yes to that second date. If she's not, she'll decline. And while this might seem obvious to some, I know it's not always straightforward for everyone. We all have different experiences and learning curves, so let's keep that in mind. Number five, constantly cancels plans. All right, let's dive into another telltale sign, when she keeps flaking or canceling plans. Now, similar to the I'm too busy excuse we talked about earlier, this one's a red flag if it happens repeatedly. Sure, we all have those days when unexpected stuff comes up, but if she's constantly bailing on you, it's time to take notice. Guys, you deserve better than being left hanging. It's not cool when someone can't stick to their commitments. If she's really interested and emotionally mature, she'll make an effort to follow through. Consistently flaking or canceling is just plain disrespectful, and it tells me she doesn't value my time or me. So, thanks but no thanks, time to move on. Now, these five points are the main things you should look R for. Let's give you an extra things you should totally look out for. If she dodges personal questions or changes the subject when things get deep, it might mean she's not open to on getting closer. People usually avoid personal stuff if they're not feeling a strong bond or if they don't see a future together. So if she's not opening up about herself, it could be a sign she's not into you. Also, if she shows no sign of affection, it could be a really real sign that she's not interested in you. Affection is like those warm, fuzzy feelings you get when someone's into you. If she's not giving compliments, hugs, or playful teasing, it could mean she's not seeing you as a romantic interest. Some people are just less touchy-feely, but if there's a total absence of affection, it might mean she's not feeling it. Finally, when she gives only short, sweet replies, you know those one-word replies or quick messages? They're like the fast food version of communication. If she's always hitting you with short responses, she might not be putting in much effort to talk. While everyone's busy sometimes, if she's always keeping it short, it could be a sign she's not super interested in chatting with you. So, if she's not really into you, she'll do these things. It's important to know these signs so you don't spend your time on someone who's not interested. Remember, dating can be tough, but spotting these signs early can help you avoid getting hurt. Stay positive, be yourself, and know that there's someone out there who will like you for you. And that wraps up our list of five things women do when they're not interested. I'd love to hear your thoughts and stories in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated on future content. Share your experiences to help other guys out there.